I'm Olivia Waxman. And I'm Jada Strahan. And welcome back to GCTV. Seniors, Ms. Havard and Ms. West are now taking FAFSA appointments. FAFSA day is February 11th. Spirit shirts are now on sale for $5. They are available in Ms. Longstrom before and after school. We would like to congratulate all students and faculty for helping GCHS reach fourth in state and graduation rates. We would also like to welcome our new principal, Sid Taylor. We sat down with him to see how he feels about the transition. Let's check it out now. I'm very excited to be back at the high school. Um, actually, I you know missed it when I left, uh, and so it, to me, it's I'm humbled and I'm honored to uh, to be back and to serve all of the students here at George County High School, and not only the students but the teachers. Uh, it's just a privilege for me to be able to serve. Uh, George County High School is my alma mater, and uh, so coming back as a former student and graduate of George County High School uh, and now serving as the principal is a big honor for me. And so uh, I'm just excited to be here and glad to be here and to serve everybody. The transition, I believe the transition went very smoothly. Um, you know, of course, Mr. Whitney made that easy. Uh, you know, he, he prepared and planned and prepared us for the transition. Everybody that was involved in the transition, he made it easy for us. And I think serving under his leadership the past four years uh, made it easy for me to come back. Even though I was away, I knew what to expect. And I know the expectations of Mr. Whitney and George County High School. And so, and I plan to keep those same expectations for everybody. And we're going to keep moving forward uh, for academic success and excellence here at George County High School. It's very important to me. Uh, so the transition was very easy, very smooth, and we just, you know, I just, I feel like I've just picked right up where I left off when I left back in the summer, so it's very easy. I'm looking forward to just being back and interacting with you guys in the student body at George County High School every single day. Uh, it is very important for me to build relationships and to connect with every single student and every single staff member on this campus. Uh, building relationships has always been a, a big philosophy of mine. You know, to be successful, you've got to have connections and make those uh, positive connections and influence the lives of those people that uh, you have uh, contact with every single day. So that's that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is just being back, being in this atmosphere, and being with the absolute best students in this entire state. So that's it. We're all excited to have you back at the high school. Now let's pass it to our new sports reporter, Jace Pater. The Lady Rebels soccer team beat Northwest Rankin 1-0 last week. We caught up with some of the girls to see how they feel about going into the second round. Um, it feels rewarding because we've been trying for three years and then see it all pay off is just a really good feeling. and It's wild. Uh, what will need to be approved upon for the next round? Um, I think our communication and our work ethic on the field could be improved. Compared to Tuesday night, are there any changes in the team's attitude during this game? Mm, not really. Just work as hard as you can and don't worry about the next game. We're just focused on Saturday. Okay, what is the team's goal? Um, I think our goal would be to not put too much pressure on ourselves and not get in our heads that we're going to go up there and just kill it because then that will make us think that we're going to do it and then we end up not. The Lady Rebels came up short last Saturday against Gulfport, wrapping up their season. Any boys interested in playing tennis can go talk to Coach Pater in room 15. Now back to Jada and Olivia. Thanks, Jace. Hey, Jada, what's your favorite food? Um, shoes. This week we caught up with students at GCHS to play a round of wrong answers only. Let's check it out now. Who's your favorite president? Uh, Adolf Hitler. What's your favorite color? Australia is on, Australia is on fire. Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, probably Juice World. What's your favorite activity? I honestly, uh, I, um, I like to mop. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? I sometimes like kicking my left foot every now and then. What's your favorite food? Um, I like to open doors. What's your favorite road sign? Fortnite's pretty fun. You know. What's your favorite color? The camera. What's your favorite activity? Flowers. What's your favorite animal? A potato. What's your favorite food? Olivia. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? A dumpster. Who's your favorite president? Alan. What's your favorite color? Uh, grape. What's your favorite activity? Uh, tie my shoes. What's your favorite animal? Olivia Washman. What's your favorite food? Uh, grape. If you could go anywhere, where would you go? Uh, back to my house. That's all we have for this week. See you next time on GCTV.